Hello, welcome to a GeoPortal template screencast. I'm Tobin from the Strategic Planning and Program Support Division of Mecklenburg County GIS. In this screencast, we're going to look at customizing the search options on the GeoPortal template. First, if you haven't already, you'll need to bust out your web browser. Head on over to code.google.com slash p slash geoportal. Grab the code. Uh, you'll need to drop it into your HTTP server, and it can be anything you want. It's just HTML and JavaScript, so it can be IS, Apache, or literally anything you want to use. We'll do fine. Now, I've got GeoPortal running on my local machine. Now, by default, it searches for everything Mecklenburg does. So you can put in an address. It'll come up with addresses. You can put in a name, like say we'll do Carolina. See, we've got a couple of Charlotte Area Transit System stops. We've got GeoNames. That's from the GeoName database, which we pull down some data from periodically. Uh, park. You've got roads. You know, anything with Carolina in it. You can search for an intersection, like so. There's all the roads that uh, Ruth Road intersects with. You can search for a parcel number. need eight numbers for a parcel number. You can search for all that stuff. Now, for a lot of applications, you probably don't need all that crap. So, here's how you change that. Head into uh, your script folder and open page.js. That's where most of the page stuff is set up. Down here you see document.ready. That's jQuery talk for, I'm not quite to page load yet, but I have enough there to start and go ahead and run some code for you. See, we've got our jQuery UI layout to make the layout and our accordions and tabs and sliders map control. There's our autocomplete. Now, for the autocomplete, uh, it's really, I'm doing a lot of stuff there. I'm uh, running the Ajax call and doing an open custom stuff and select custom stuff and I'm actually adding this whole other thing, which is basically so I can add that category bit to it. I'm going to do it quite a, lot, quite a bit here. But here's what you need to learn, know about. Search types. Address, library, school park. That's where all that stuff is. Suppose we just want address. Uh, we'll do a park and a road. And we don't care about any of that. We'll just reduce it down to that. I'll tell you what. Let's say we don't even care about intersections either. That's all we want to know about. Eh, I care about roads either. I just want to know address, park, and pit. I don't want to autocomplete any of that other stuff. Fair enough. Save that. Refresh your page. Now, of course, uh, you know your address search will still be working. Let's try to search on Carolina. Yeah, see, all we get back is parks. We turn all that other stuff off. So that's really easy. You can customize exactly what your auto suggests your search is coming back with. Now, if you're not in Mecklenburg County, of course, this is all Mecklenburg County data. So you're going to have your own service to uh, make suggestions with the, whatever data you want to set up. We also share our uh, RESTful web service framework that includes that auto suggest code, which is Google code.google.com slash p slash post gis for us. It's that. So you can go there and uh, download the latest code. Actually got uh, a, another contributor to that project lately and he's doing really cool stuff. So download that code and you'll see what code we do auto suggest and you can customize that to your own data set. But that's it. You're all set to customize the search on the GeoPortal template. This is Tobin. Signing out.